I'm going to create a flooded valley scene using this image as a reference and of course crediting the artist behind this masterpiece. I'll start by sculpting the terrain to match the rough composition depicted in the reference. To achieve detailed and artistic control, I'll be using random noise textures along with the Worldspace brush type. Next, I'll set up the foliage and refine its materials as needed, which in this case means almost everything will require adjustments. Once the foliage brushes and settings are properly configured, I'll move on to the background assets, also known as vistas. These are essential in any scene as they fill in the distant background without being performance heavy. For the next step, I'll position the gas station from our asset pack right in the middle of the flood zone, making it a central element of the scene. Now comes the spline work, including roads and mudslides, which will add extra layers of detail. I need to ensure that the right side of every edge features a mudslide, reinforcing the idea that flood water swept in from the right and carried debris toward the left, enhancing the environmental storytelling. Since these valleys are incredibly deep, I quickly adjust the props to maintain a balanced final composition. To add depth to the scene, I'll place a tunnel at the very end for a key background detail shot. I'll start by sculpting the hillside, then cut out a rough tunnel entrance, before finally filling in the opening with our tunnel mesh. I absolutely love our mud assets, so I'll add an extra few elements here to further emphasize the flood damage. Post-processing can either make or break a scene. So I'll take extra care to fine tune it, ensuring I capture the cold, gloomy, and oppressive atmosphere that will highlight the devastation caused by this natural disaster.
Now it's time to refine the grass. Apply some color corrections and use our foil shader to adjust the grass's positioning, giving it a flattened damaged look consistent with the aftermath of a flood. To really sell the destruction, I'll bring in car models from our junkyard pack, placing them strategically throughout the scene to reinforce the chaotic aftermath. I'll also use a combination of our gas station asset pack and our upcoming construction site pack to construct a small residential style building. This will serve as a subtle showcase for our Photoscan assets adaptability and flexibility.
Now to set up a landslide using our muddy mashes, adding another layer of realism to the disaster. A touch of artificial lighting will help refine the overall mood and depth of the scene. Finally, I'll focus on the small details, bringing everything together for a polished and immersive result.